All right, everyone, let's get started on the cover. So I decided to use the signature page as the cover, and I'm gonna use this pattern for the spine, and I am gonna wrap it. So this is six inches across, and I just kind of curled it to sort of train it. So I went ahead and marked my center line, sorry about that, I bumped the desk, um, here, here, and then also on here and on here, so it'll help me line it up. So I'm gonna start by taking off the center pieces and um, laying down the center and then taking off the strips as I go around. Now, one of the things that I found uh, that helps with any cracking um, as you wrap your spine is to use um, thin strips. So the wider your tape is, the more, that you, the more difficulty you're gonna have um, with your spine cracking. Not, I guess because um, the adhesive won't allow it to stretch a little bit. So the other thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open it about 35-40% so it's not fully opened and not fully closed. Um, if you have it completely open, when you go to close it, it's going to put too much stress on the designer paper. And if it's fully closed when you go to open it, it'll buckle. So you want to be right in the middle And I'm lining up my tick mark. That looks right. Looks a little low. Okay, there we go. So now the center piece is in. Okay, now I'm gonna remember to keep this open at about a 45 degree or 40 degree angle as I go in and continue to peel off the strips. And I'm gonna alternate sides. So I'm gonna take this strip off. Press it into place and then I'm gonna rotate and go to this side. The other thing that helps with, if you're gonna wrap your spine is to use a pattern. Because if you do have some cracking, it's a lot easier to mask it with a pattern. If you have a solid color, it's really hard to mask. And a workaround is um, you can put like a strip of ribbon if you do get some cracking. Okay, now it's time to go back to the other side. And it's not hard, but it is tedious because you're rotating your book so much. But the rest of the cover goes so simple, so fast. Okay, the next couple are critical because we're actually going over the corners. And they're not taped yet, I'm just sort of training my paper. Okay, it's time to take something off this side. Got a couple more on each side. I've got two quarter inch strips on the edge, so I'm going to go ahead and take them both off and finish this side up. Thank you. 
There we go. And there's our spine. So it wraps around just a little bit. So this is going to be our cover and I'm gonna to need to trim it down just a little bit based on the, the wrap. So my hope is I'm gonna cut right next to the S. So I'll be, I'm gonna trim this down and be right back. Okay, everyone, let's go ahead and I trim this down so it should fit now. And I ink the edges. So it's gonna go right here. Yeah, and we should have a little bit of a black border all the way around it. Now on the back, um, I'm going to color block these two pieces in. And this is after we've covered all the pages, so you should have um, essentially the same scraps as I do. Now this has to be trimmed to fit. So we're going to take off right there. Let's see how I did. That looks good. Let's ink our edges. There we go, it's coming along. Now, um, on my second sheet, I went ahead and cut these out and put them on chipboard. So I'm gonna pop these stamp elements. I'm not sure I'm gonna pop that one because I think I'm gonna put flowers right there. So I fussy cut some flowers. This is from the second sheet and this is from uh, just the floral um, sheet in the 12 by 12 collection pack. And again, this is from the cover. So it's actually this part of the, um, the original layout. So I'm just gonna overlay this and this is gonna go right here. And then I was gonna, since I had to cut through the owl, I'm using this piece to mask some of that. So this one's already got chipboard on it, so I'll lay it down. I don't have chipboard on the other piece yet. And you can see it's just bits and pieces that I cut to fit, trim to fit. Okay, now you can still see the owls back there, but you have to know what it is um, to really tell. Okay, now I'm gonna um, chipboard back this and it's gonna go here. But 
in the meantime, we can look at what we're going to do on the inside as far as decorating. Okay, I'll be right back. strategy to make sure stuff doesn't wander off, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think somebody may be toward the front of the driveway and somebody toward the
question. Hey, sorry guys, I thought the camera was rolling. I installed my pages. I can't, I'm not sure if this was rolling or not. But this is chipboard piece that I'm gonna use on the spine. And I'm thinking about, yep, I like it. So I put tape on there just so it'll stick faster, but I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on it as well. And this is ribbon, if you bought the bundle from us, this ribbon came with your bundle. That needs a second to dry. And then I'm gonna do a little something here on the back. And I want this to be relatively flat because it is the back of the book and when it's laid on its side, um, I don't want it to be bulky. So I'm going to use this sticker Here we go. piece of chipboard, it says season's greetings, I like that, and then or die cuts. Let's look through these real quick. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that. That goes there. I'm sure of it. So there's still some paper that needs to be popped out. Yeah, definitely. that is. Not too much glue there. Okay. What else do we have? Okay. 
maybe a snowflake. Back cut. die cut sticker anything else the salutation looks so pretty I don't want to put any other words on here to compete with it I like it, but I don't like the color. The scale's wrong. It almost disappears up here. That's it. It's going to go up there. I like it. That's kind of cool. Okay, I think that's all I want to do back here because what I have is so pretty. I don't want to, I don't want it to uh, get too cluttered. Okay, and then we, um, I'm not sure I was recording, but I added this um, fussy cut uh, piece here, and it's also backed with some cardstock, so so there's some uh, dimension to it. These are also popped, two of them. The third one I didn't do because it's covered. And that is it for our cover. Okay, thanks everybody.